It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Back for another week. And today's episode is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Now let's start the show. Uh, Wax is here. Yo. Um, hey. t- Taylor is here, but y'all can ignore her. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> um, Schultzy, how was your week? It was good, man. It was good. Yeah, I had a I had a good week, man. We had uh we had Chris Hansen on this week, bro. I saw. What is Chris Hansen doing nowadays? Catching them predators. He's bro. still doing that? Oh. That show still come on? Um, nah, he's just doing it for like fun now. <laughs> I love that shit. I always Yo. wanted to beat to be the cops. I wanted to beat the people up instead of having the cops have me out there, me and my boys. I wish I knew you was interviewing him because I always wanted to know that somebody steal that idea from Cameron. Because Cameron had announced that idea for the Catch a Predator way before the Catch a Predator debuted. And I always wondered, did somebody from what that's what did you come on? CNBC or MSNBC? What channel was that? Nah, I think it was on NBC, and then I think they replayed it on MSNBC. MSNBC. I always wondered if somebody stole that idea from Cameron. Because I remember this was, I'm talking about when I say this was years ago, this was when like the only hip hop site was allhiphop.com and SOHH. And the story was like Cameron's working on this show where he's going to be setting up pedophiles and catching them in the act. <laughs> and then the Chris Hansen shit came out. I always wondered about that. It's a good when show. was that? I could tell you. Oh, shit. I was doing radio in Columbia at the time, so this had to be like 2000, 2001. When did the Catch a Predator right. start? Yeah, this was before that. When did it start? I think he did 94 to 97 or something like that. To yeah. Chris Hansen? No yes. way. Yeah. I was a teen in 94, 97. I was 10 years old. <laughs> you might have been on one of them episodes. <laughs> <laughs> 94, 97? No way. Yeah, that, was, that was 10, bro. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure, man. Chris- yeah, she was back in the day. There was something called, um, there was uh, something called Perverted Justice. And it was like an organization that was basically created to catch these pedophiles online because they were in these like chat rooms and shit. Yeah. And then Chris Hansen, the producers came on board and they were like, yo, why don't we while we film this shit, it's kind of lit. And the crazy thing is the first two episodes, they didn't even have the cops. Oh, so he was just winging it. No, nah, like, he just did it, and then they let the dude go. <laughs> no, man. Yeah, the two lucky like, guys. He was like, got you, you're a pedophile. And then he was like, so what happens now? And then <laughs> Chris Hansen was like, I don't know. We didn't think that far in the episode. We just, we just got the pedophiles. Yo, who's it. recording the pedophiles now? Because pedophiles still got to be pedophiling, right? Yeah, for real. QAnon, bro. QAnon's all over that shit. Yeah, but are they recording them, though? doing it before it was popular. Say what? Are they recording them, though? Like, if, I, if, a, if a, a man pops up at a 13-year-old's house, is somebody throwing them on social media? You would think you would see more of that nowadays right. with social media, right? Yo, Hanson said this, bro. He was like, he was like, the first episode, I was so nervous. And I was like, you nervous that, you know, you could be confronted by the pedophile. The pedophile might try to shoot you or kill you or something like that. He goes, he goes, nah, I was nervous. No pedophiles were going to show up. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> I was like, that's what you're nervous about? He goes, he goes, then the day of, I call the producer and I'm like, so what's going on? He goes, yo, they're like, yo, you got to get over here. There's like 17 people that have confirmed they're going to come by the house. No. Oh my gosh. Yeah. And he said he was like, bro, it was like a Jordan drop. I was like, how do you know about Jordans, bro? Yo, the sick, the sickness of that of Chris Hansen was that they named the boy band after him, yo. <laughs> that show's really still coming on. That's an amazing. Show. Um, they they're doing it again with this network, uh, or this this show called Crime Watchers, and they're gonna do a thing called Hansen versus Predator. Mm-hmm. He went on YouTube. He's still doing them all on YouTube. Like, I think the moment is past. Nah, yeah, for they catching pedophiles? Nah, no, 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 no. I'm just talking that. about for that show. Because, right, it's like, you think about human trafficking now and sex trafficking. Like, it's honestly, it seems like too serious of an issue to just have on a TV show. I mean, the show wasn't a comedy. It kind of was, bro. Like, it, uh, I, I, come on, there's man. There's one episode. I laughed. Bro, there was one I laughed. episode. 
his most viral moment where this guy comes, he brings pizza and all that kind yeah. of shit, and then Chris Hansen confronts him, <laughs> and then my man asks if he could eat the pizza while they're talking, and just that. starts eating the pizza while they're talking, bro. I mean, it's, it's a lot, it was a lot of comedy in the Catch a Predator. I mean, when soon as have a seat. It's like, oh, we in for something good. <laughs> Something's the, run out. It's the, unintentional, though. Yes, it's not intentional yes. comedy. But the funniest part was when the people actually thought they were leaving. As if the police huh. are not going to be outside <laughs> this time. Because we've yeah. all seen The Catch a Predator. As soon as you leave, you know you're not leaving. Yeah. Chris Hansen goes, you're yeah. free to leave. Like, no, we might as well sit here and keep talking. They, they need to definitely <laughs> do it and do it like have goons outside because yeah. you, you ain't got no consequences. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You're going, to, you're going to three hots in the cot. Yeah. You're about to go eat food and they're about to take care of you. You're going to sell. But you need to get your ass beat the fuck up and I think you'll stop this shit. Man, there was a dude. Now, Wax, you have much more experience in prison than I do, but I heard <laughs> it's not too good to be a pedophile. No, you, uh, you don't. I'm you're saying you're going to get your ass whooped in there, but I feel like if you whip that person ass right there, I think you'll help them out. It's like rehab. I like would this. rather have the, his ass whooped uh, in prison by professional ass whoop. <laughs> yeah. No, for real, because that's, that's the whole point of jail, right? Like, jail's not supposed to be sweet. So yeah. not only are you locked up, you're dealing with the consequences of that, you got to deal with the predators well, they, in jail. Yeah, you got to deal with you. the people that's going to yeah. beat your ass for what you did. The, the, the reason why I obey the law is not out of fear of, like, being in a cell and then working out with a bunch of guys and, like, eating shitty food. The reason I obey the law is because I don't want to get raped in prison. No, 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 no. It's all of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to say, it's a whole it's lot that. to go with this. Yeah, that's sitting, that's sitting in the jail cell, not having freedom when you want to. Can't get no pussy. <laughs> oh, my God. I could do that, dude. No, you I couldn't. just did it for fucking 12 months during quarantine. No, like, no, I could no, be no, inside. no, no, no. Not the same, Ellen. Come on, bro. Andrew DeGeneres. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I could do it. I could no. do jail if there was no fear of rape. I could do jail if there's no, no fear of rape. You but say the that. Fear of you know, Andrew keeps said you can do out. everything. How much you like pussy? No way. I like it a lot. Okay, well, guess what? It's not there. It's not there. <laughs> right? How much do you like your favorite food? Like, think about that. When you can order whatever you want, eat whatever you want when your you family. want. Family. Like, it's a lot of things to think yeah, about. Yeah, it's a lot right? of things in jail. Jail isn't what, I don't know what you think jail is, but it's not. Yo, jail is just hanging around with dudes that got cool stories. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, Al Bundy stories. Like, bro, over and over what'd again. You, what'd you do to get in here? Like, I just want to have those conversations, dude. Yeah. Like, let's talk. But think about it's just it. a podcast. Think about Jail is just a long podcast. That's hey, all it is when you think about think it. Think about sitting around your homeboys, right? And then one of them mm -hmm. say some wild shit like, man, I'm horny. And you'd be like, all right, man, I'm going to head out. Can't do that in jail when that guy's <laughs> sitting around like, hey, man, I'm a horny. You got to let one out. Well, see, that's the fear. You'd be like, I'm going to head out. You're like, well, what's head? You said you want to do head what? I was thinking the same thing. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? You're afraid of the rape. But what if they had like some sort of machine that like sucked off all the inmates so none of them were horny, right? They that's just kind, melted kind, them like dairy kind of, cows. That's kind of dope, yo. Dr. Doc Johnson should actually make that. They got like a mouth right now and fake asses. Yeah. Why don't they give it to them? I think people will be okay. They do that and it calms everybody down. They you will. wake up first thing in the morning before you go to chow. You know, smart, you get man. your dick sucked by the machine. Okay, guys, they can study the sperm or do whatever they want with it. I don't it's care. It's this thing called freedom, and, uh, guys. Exactly. We take it for granted. <laughs> we take it for granted because we have it, <laughs> exactly. All right? But let them put. Charlie, you've been locked in your house for the last year. You haven't gone out to dinner not one time. I'd much rather be locked in the house than locked in jail. All right, fine. What if you could go to jail with your wife? No, no, no. Jail just ain't it. Bro. Jail is disgusting. That's what you say. You ain't been there. Jail ain't it. You bro. never been locked up at all shows ever. Yo, y'all are y'all are mad scared, bro. Y'all are so scared, yo. Like, yo. Social experience is the best teacher, bro. But hey, 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 let's talk to the jail expert, Alex. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alex, Alex, is, Alex has done yo, more time than I would everybody never in here. Never go back to jail. Thank you. Okay. Yo, Al went to jail in Sweden. He basically was just chilling in an IKEA for about a month, and he said oh it was cool. God. He said he was calm. He was thinking right. Yeah, no he said he was <laughs> meditating. Did he go wild out over four walls? Alex, what was the biggest thing you missed when you was in jail? Exact, Dirk, exactly what you guys said. Freedom, freedom man. Freedom. Man. freedom. Nah, he said he was reading mad books, catching up on trashy reality shows. Like he said, he was really <laughs> living reading his no books. Best what the life fuck you think there, I'm gonna do? You can't even well, watch TV when you want to. Think about that. Think about that. You can't even watch TV. Nah, we had a TV in my room. Oh, you had a, oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, you had a good they one. They have yeah. cell phones in jail yeah. now. 
You're not First supposed of all, to have man, them. Yeah, but they have. I them. have a fiance. I can't watch TV when I want to now. <laughs> <laughs> well, what is this life where you just get to watch TV whenever you want? Yo, like, they you are definitely the warden, yo. Wives are definitely yeah, the warden, like, bro. Let me tell you something. Let's be serious. We we get to watch more comfortable stuff, but come on, bro. I like what you're the, the shitty thing about jail is getting murdered, shanked, or raped. My name is Tom, and I. Have a fear of going to jail and being anally raped. Hi, Tom. That's the shittiest that, part of it. That's all it. part of it, but really the shittiest part of jail is the lack of freedom. Yo, if somebody goes, do you want to get uh, raped or do you want to not be free? That, that's the quickest answer I'll <laughs> ever give in my entire life. Wait like, a minute. Is, is <laughs> a no, no, no. It, no, it depends quick. how much time. Whoa, whoa. Bro. You got listen. Your mind going to be in prison, Charlie. Wait, you would, wait, wait, wait. you would prefer yeah. to get raped by an inmate whenever they wanted and have your freedom, or you would prefer to not have your freedom, but then there's no raping you. Oh, let me think about this. This shit feel like algebra. <laughs> say that shit again now. What you say? This should be really. Do you want easy. dicks in your ass or not? That's the, the real no, question. No, I'm gonna tell yeah, you. Like, no, no, there's no, no, nothing no, no, else. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you. Hey, do you want dicks in your ass? But you get to watch TV whenever you want. <laughs> right, hold on, hold on. Let's forget the rape in jail shit for a second. We're not talking about rape in jail. Let's talk consensual sex with the same sex. This is a great. Would you rather? What if somebody says this is a good one? Somebody says life in jail. Uh, I get to penetrate your asshole. I'm already Life dead in, in my jail. brain. You're already dead in your brain. Why don't you get fucked? You're done. Versus one penetration. It's a single penetration in and out. One pump of the piston. Yes, our life in prison. But it's one pump. Now, I ain't say one pump, man. You, you, however long it takes you to fuck on the regular, how long, however long it takes you to nut. Whatever your, whatever your personal average nut is, that's how long this person gets to penetrate you. Henny, Henny dick. <laughs> no, this is a good one. Forget to, to take the R word out of it. Hold on, Henny Dick. Henny Henny Dick is tricky because my ass is so tight. I don't even think he's gonna get in. <laughs> <laughs> you need to be fully hard. You want to get in this ass? Y'all got you. Listen, y'all can't be this homophobic. Life in prison. Or no, get getting, a little penis I'm getting penetration. A little penetration. No way. I'm getting a little penetration. Your brain is in prison. You probably like that shit too. Your brain is in prison. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yourself. Taylor. Taylor, chill out, bro. <laughs> chill out, bro. Y'all hey, deep spot is in the, in the eight hole. Oh, yeah, they say crack, crack is really good too, right? You know how many times crack is said? Yo, girls crack always say that shit. And that by the way, wax line. How am I lying? You've been to jail. What the fuck that guy do anything? Ever, <laughs> so, as soon as you go to jail, you get plugged. Listen, That's not it. Listen, nah, hold no, up. No, no, wax. No, no, wax. Life Here's is... a good question. Have you ever hidden anything in your rectum? Never. While you were in jail? You're a liar. Never. You ain't never boofed something? I, if I did, I'd probably put it right there, but nothing went in. <laughs> you're a liar. Nah, 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 I hit blunt and stuff. shit like did that. Did you hold something between your Stop cheeks? Stop lying, bro. I, maybe a blunt. They told me. You did it. I was speaking to one of your homeboys. How listen, long was the blunt? Listen, listen. How listen. long was the blunt? And it, and it was not even between my cheeks. It was like right inside of my balls right there. I just had to put right no, there. So I get no, 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 no. That's no, not true. No, hey, no. Wax, tell the true story. <laughs> I'm dead tell serious. The I, put, I put the blunt right inside of my balls because the boys pulled us over. Stop it, bro. Say the one about when you were sick in jail. Remember, you were sick in jail. You were thrown up. That never happened. You you were sick in jail, blown up, and you booped a Pepto Bismol to get it in there because they didn't want to give you no Pepto Bismol. You booped the whole Pepto Bismol. Listen, I, I, so I you never, say what? You I never put man. nothing in your cheeks. Never put nothing in my cheeks, bro. If I did, you just said you did. He's listen, a liar. Wait, man, he listen, told me the I know, story. I before. know. Listen, I know because I put it through I'm the front. Saying, I didn't bro. put it through the back. I put it right through the side. I, it, of front okay, but sitting people do. Do people do it? Mad people boof. They always do that. That's how they fucking survive okay, in jail. So why don't you but just boof a dick enough. one time and then you're free? Bruh. Boof a dick over boofing. Yes, guns life in for prison. The rest of your life. So wax, you telling me that you would take life in prison over letting somebody penetrate your butt? Listen, I'm gonna tell you this. <laughs> God, God, God would give you peace in anything in life. I've seen people with no legs and they happy as hell. So you'll find peace inside of jail. There's Hold on. no you way don't think your they mind... would take a dick in the butt <laughs> exactly. to have their legs. You can't. You think God won't give you some peace because you got a no, little penis no. penetration? I, I, I think about that shit every fucking day. Your brain is in prison. You <laughs> don't want you, that wait, shit. You like you just said, why would your brain peace? be in prison? You will get. What happened if you nut? You could nut. You could. <laughs> you could go in and then you could enjoy it. Now that's you're not in prison. Thing. You're in heaven. Wax lying. There's no. There's, there's nobody. No there's nobody on earth that's choosing Listen. life in prison over getting penetrated. By a penis. And I even, uh, when I was in there, I said, I wouldn't even do this to my worst enemy. I'd rather sit there and hit you up and do you a favor before I put you in jail. 
You see what I'm saying? But I would rather go in there to get smashed. Bro, imagine getting smashed, bro. Hold on, so you rather go to jail to get smashed? <laughs> Like, what? I'm not gonna get smashed in jail. I ain't give a fuck. I'm doing push ups until I get in there. It's guys bigger than you. I don't give a fuck. That's They'll their fault. They'll jump you. So, you think I'm not my people? Hold on. When I go in jail, believe me, just like when I did go, everybody, yo, what's up? Like, they already see exactly what time it is. Nope. They, you think that your people say, be like, yeah, he cute, yo. Look at the nah, way you wear in jail. Yeah. Yo, they gonna say he you cute while I'm doing push ups, because fuck that. I'm hey, already That's right. Turn them on, wax. Do the push ups. <laughs> Keep working out. Turn them on. Sweaty. Turn them yeah. on. Keep doing them push ups. I even get Keep doing it, bro. <laughs> Yo, we should have a brilliant idiot's poll. There's nobody that's going to take life in prison over getting penetrated by one that's, by wow. a penis one what time. What about anything Any else? Any man. I don't care what you say. But one right it here. Depends. If you're old, if you're like 99, then maybe I'll take jail. But if you have your whole life ahead of you, 100%. How do you know what you got ahead of you? Nobody knows what they got ahead of them. So you're going to get smashed, and then next thing you know, tomorrow, you get hit by a bus. I'd rather play my cards outside. Well, that's playing too many cards. Yeah. Life, man. This is life in prison. Wax. Life in I jail, bro. I hear you. And then you're going to feel stupid because you're going to be in jail, and around year 20, you're going to be like, man, fuck it. I'm getting a boyfriend. I ain't going <laughs> So then you're going to be like, I could have just fucked somebody 20 years ago Yo. and stayed out of here. <laughs> I'm going to have arthritis so in my hands or something. Here's the question, right? Knowing that once this sexual act is over, you have your freedom, right? Your brain not free. Are you going to try to do whatever it takes to make the sexual act go quicker? <laughs> like, are you going to talk dirty a little? Like, yeah, you going to throw it back? <laughs> you going to throw that shit back? Yeah. Like, honestly, I might get a wax before. Huh? What? I might get a wax before. You know what I mean? I might shave. I'm, <laughs> I'm like, what? <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I just want to go faster. So whatever, I'm guessing That's I'm not it. quicker, I'm going to do. So you, think, <laughs> right? so you think you're more attractive? You think you're more attractive because you shave? Oh, man. No, yeah, well, he don't have to look at this tuft of hair that's just covering my booty hole. You be doing tricks that your girl do on you, on Hell him. Hell yeah. Grabbing his balls. I get on top. <laughs> I get on top, bro. I'll be riding on top. <laughs> All right, let's switch to sexual life. <laughs> Head. Yeah. Go Life in, in prison or head from a man? Not happening. I don't want no man to me. I, I'm not this even going to get I, I got lying. one. I got one. I got one. Lying. He's not I lying. Got one. He's lying. I got one. Life in prison mm -hmm. or there's a three inch dildo that is on a wall. <laughs> and you just got to back up. You just got to back while up. While Juvenile back that ass up playing. <laughs> Dude. That's it. Juvenile back that ass up playing. <laughs> I don't know Juvenile, why y'all want this. Juvenile like, back that, why, why Juvenile back that ass up got to be playing <laughs> while, while Wax is just backing up. What if a guy just licks your ass? W whoa. Let's why see. me? Yo, Taylor. It's, 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 Taylor God, that God. shit is mad gay, Whoa. yo. Taylor, why would you Whoa. say that, Taylor? Whoa. Taylor, that Whoa. shit is wild. Whoa. She's out of control. Wax got to cut yo, it Yo, you are out of control. Wax, we just talking about dicks in the butt, not licking, bro. That's the next level, You Taylor. just said give head, though, so I'm just okay, saying, let's, like... Okay, one more time. Let's, uh, this is the last sexual act. Would you let a man, Wax, <laughs> nope. lick your cheek? Not even put the tongue exactly, in your just ass. Lick your just cheek. lick one cheek so you don't go to jail for life. Why is this happening? Why is this nigga <laughs> even around me? If I'm about to go to jail, you think I want somebody come whisper in my ear like, yo, I lick your ass and it'd be okay. No, it's not going to be okay. Okay, so all right, listen, because you nasty. You in court. <laughs> <laughs> you in court. Judge, yeah. like, I'm going to give you 30 years. Lawyer's like, come into the chamber real quick. I'm going to make you a deal. The judge lifts up his robe. He ain't wearing nothing. He's like, all you got to do is lick my left cheek. Just lick it. One quick time, like how the dude on Christmas <laughs> Story licked the pole. <laughs> Turn it up. And you don't go to jail for life. Listen, bro, this is wild shit. Like, why are you thinking about so this? So now we get getting there. You see how the negotiations saying, starting listen, to work a little bit, bitch. Uh, <laughs> you see how uh, 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 shit. He could be like, what should we call it? Your friend. In the, in the show, he was about to give him head and he took the dick off. Oh, Dave, little yeah. dicky? The negotiations. <laughs> so listen, all you got to do is lick the judge's left ass cheek and you, you, right. you skate. You like Two different things. Right. You either got to lick the ass, ass cheek <laughs> or you, you go on your knees and you just stand in front of him and then you keep your eyes closed and then he comes up to you and he just 
swings his dick and balls and just hits you in the face with it, kind of like a car wash. You know those things that are yeah, got nobody else in this way. But but you're not, but you're not you're not doing anything. You are completely neutral. That's your it. eyes are closed. That's it. You're literally a car. Which a car one wash. would you do for your freedom? You want automation for my freedom? I, I don't think I, I would have to keep on pitching that in my face for all the rest of my life. No. And I don't know when I'm dying, man. What if you didn't man, know, you didn't man, know stop. until you opened your eyes? Like he was done and you opened your eyes. I'm not getting my... Yo, you understand Whack. what you're We're saying? We're talking about life in prison. <laughs> I understand that. I'm life in prison with a clear mind. Yo, every single day I'm going to wake up to the night knowing somebody smacked their balls and their dick on my face. <laughs> man, you're looking at this all wrong. You're looking at this all wrong. Every single morning. You're looking at this all wrong. Every time you wash your face, you're like, damn, man, I got to get a new face. That, but guess what? Nope. <laughs> guess what? Because <laughs> my, my perspective, my perspective would face. be, woo, outside is beautiful today. Okay? That's what's going to keep you going. I can't. You ain't going to be proud of yourself waking up in jail for life and all you had to do was let somebody slap their balls on your face. <laughs> what are you saying? Like, this thing about, this makes happened. no sense. And man. I know people went through that and I'm sorry y'all had to go through that because that's out of control, bro. And people do it for worse and for less. I was going to say, so there's nothing y'all would, y'all always choose freedom. Nothing will make you want to go like <laughs> Man, this. what is wrong? Why is this even, what? I can't even believe this is a tough choice for y'all. No, I'm not talking about even, any, I'm just saying in general, anything. There's what do nothing you mean? that will make y'all be like, I'm going to choose life of prison than that. Life of prison? I'm not you, going to, no, no, I'm not going to prison. For, no, no. Okay. Life in prison? Bro, we talking about life. Do you know what life is? You can still live. That's what life is. Living. What? <laughs> life is still living. You want to be mentally that poetic, okay. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't living, Wax. Li that's that's jail, more living than no, having your mind messed jail, up. Jail is being alive and being too, dead. Though. I understand that, but you can especially still be alive. life. You're a dead man. You're a dead man walking. They might as well just bury you alive. They give right you life. Right now, a prison. guy escaped from jail. They looking for him right now. You see what I'm saying? He ain't really escaped. They put him out. You know what I'm saying? They put him in the wrong pod or whatever the case may be. And God might go and bless me and get me out of jail one day. But if I even if I get out of jail, I got to know that I got somebody balls on my face before. That's kind of wild. Alex, let me ask Alex, man. Alex, come on, Alex. Alex. Thank you, Alex. What's up? Serious question. <laughs> Right. Any of the scenarios we just said to you, penetration, getting head, letting somebody slap their balls on your face, any of those three are life in prison? I can't do life in prison. I'll just say I can't do life in prison. <laughs> Alex, what are you saying? <laughs> Yo, I can't do life can't in do prison. Life in prison, prison bro. Bro. I, I just say I don't want to do life in prison either. NB, I mean, Alex is saying D, all of the above. No. All right? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever's on the menu, he's eating, but he know what he's not eating, and that's life in prison. Okay? Wax, well, you like pussy a Let's lot too, though. So. I understand that, but I'm saying my hand is not that bad. I'm saying I, my <laughs> I, I just had a fucking baby, yo. Two months be two months before the baby and basically two months after the baby, four months. And now you're not gonna no see pussy. your baby no more. Yeah, exactly. I just, my son can come see me. You and, and by the way, uh, you would cur bro. you would curse your uh, son out worse than Kirk Franklin cursed his out. I would love if to see that. you did that for your son and he disrespected you. That's what I'm trying to say. Charlotte, be honest. Could you ever tell your son everything anything if he found out that you got smashed? It depends. You know? Depends how bad he, he disrespect me in the house one day. If he, <laughs> I'm in serious. Because you, you know you, you, that's what fathers do, right? Fathers the whole shit over you. Like I I paid for this for you. I did this for yes. you. You <laughs> motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You might get so mad, motherfucker. I took a dick for you. <laughs> right, but guess like, what? And that, the like, next Dad. argument he gonna tell everybody, yo, that ain't my little CEO. You took a dick. Now, yeah, I'm not that homophobic. Well, Can get, you really give someone a curfew? I'm in touch with my feminine side, dude. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm telling you right now. <laughs> Back it up, one and you can quote me on this. Y'all can chop this up, edit this it, circulate it on the internet, however y'all want to. Okay. I'm yeah, taking yeah. a dick before I go to jail for life. <laughs> <laughs> All right? I'm letting you... But your mental taking, will be fucked No, up. it won't. Yeah, I'm telling you it won't. That's what meditation is for. Man, ain't much enough meditation in the world. You got to keep your eyes closed for the rest of your life. I'm then. going, I'm a, me and the therapist going to have a lot to talk about. A whole lot. Okay. And by the way, I'm not going to feel bad because I'm going to weigh it. I'm going to weigh it out. Right. Dick in the ass or life in prison. Yeah. Brain in prison. Brain in prison. That's what you're going to yeah, have. Nope. I'm fine. Listen, let's do some positively brilliant. What a fucking idiot, man. <laughs> 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 Or should we pay some bills first pay and come bills, back to that? Please. Okay, let's pay, let's take a break. We it didn't is. mean to come in that hot, guys. 
<laughs> for everybody listening yo, to the podcast, yo, we didn't mean yo. to come in that hot. You know what's okay. funny? We usually warm got, up to this. <laughs> we didn't mean I got mad comments a couple weeks ago. They were like, yo, why is it that every time Charlotte asks Andrew what he thought was positively brilliant this week, Schultz asked like he never heard that question <laughs> <before>. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, let's pay some bills. Squarespace. Uh, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. You'll find what you need, whether you're showcasing your work, blogging and publishing content, selling products and services, announcing upcoming events, or anything you can dream of, okay? Buying a domain from Squarespace is easy because there are no hidden fees or price hikes. And get to know your audience with their analytics tools. Those include insight on page views, traffic sources, time on site, audience geography, and more. It's all so simple to start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. All websites are optimized for mobile. Your site looks great on any device, okay? Every Squarespace website and online store comes with a suite of integrated features and use guides that help maximize prominence among search results. These SES tools are paramount. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial and when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Uh, you got any church announcements, Schultzy? Um, yeah, man. The, the you back the, in these streets. To- yeah, we back in these streets, man. It's been great to perform again, dude. Uh, thank you guys so much for selling out all the shows for the uh, oh, first leg of the source. So we're gonna add some more. We're gonna add some more cities, man. Just holler at me. Let me know what cities you want to come to, especially if your state is opening up. A lot of these places are opening up. I know a lot of you guys are asking for tickets to some of the places that are already sold out. Well, just pay attention because now these regulations are starting to loosen up. So you know they're gonna increase capacity in some of these places. And uh, once those tickets are available, I'll definitely let everybody know. Oh, they out here. By the way, uh, remember I told y'all that, you know, when Biden Harris got into the White House, the whole narrative on COVID was going to change. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, even even though you still have the vaccine, it's still like they they want you to get the vaccine. You can still do everything you want to do. You just got a social distance. But it, we back out here, bro. We back, baby. The, the streets, Florida is, already, the streets already is open. Been back. Yeah, Atlanta really been back. Um, I want to tell everybody, uh, make sure you pre-order Tamika Mallory's book, State of Emergency, How to Win in the Country We Build. It's out May 3rd. It's crazy that this year is flying by and we're already uh, mid-March. You know what yeah, I mean? Wow. But you can pre-order Tamika's book wherever you buy uh, books now. And uh, pre-order Anita Kopak's Shallow Waters. Okay, go get some of that 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 yimmy ya energy in your life. That's out August 3rd, but it's available uh, for pre-order wherever you buy books right now. Um. I got something positively brilliant. Talk to me. We had Alex Jones on a podcast. How does Alex smell? Uh, Great. No, seriously. I I, I really, I don't know why I wonder how he smells. Great. Okay. Fresh. I mean, by the end of it, it was very much like Jameson, but in the beginning, just, just. He uh, gets fucked up. My man was going for it. (laughs) He was going for it. Did he tell y'all that beforehand? uh, Or he just walked in and started licking and was like, pour up. Yeah, I think it was more like saw the liquor pour up. Let's get busy and let's get down to it. And that guy just wow, man. I mean, absolutely fucking hysterical. Okay, probably one of the funniest podcasts I've ever been a part of. I understand he's a very polarizing figure for good reason, but um, everybody is. He said what I thought. He said what I thought was the best argument that I've ever heard for reparations. Okay. He said, because we asked him, Alex asked him, he's like, how do you feel about reparations? He's like, he's like, I support it, but I think it should come from the businesses that profited off of slavery and the businesses that profited off of the disenfranchisement of black people. So if there's a specific business, right, that you know was making money off of uh, basically selling this thing. Like some of these banks probably were the ones holding the mortgages. You basically took out a mortgage to like buy a human being. Like if those banks are still around today, if those banks are Bank of America and they made tons of money on it, well, then pay the fuck up. Because he brought an interesting point. He goes, if you're some poor white guy that works at fucking, you know, some diner in the middle of Arkansas and then people are going, yo, you're privileged. You need to start paying some of your money to black people. They're like, I didn't have anything to do with that. My life sucks. Why do I got to start paying? But these billion dollar corporations that got some of them fucking billions from enslaving black people, 
They should pay up. I don't think that white guy's going to be mad at that. Yeah, I mean, Alex Jones is right, but that's always been the argument. Like, people have always said that. That's always been, like, an age-old thing that people said. Any any corporation, company that has, you know, profited directly off slavery, there was even a—they had a whole list. If you Google it, there's a whole list of institutions that exist now that directly benefited from slavery. And most people that fight for reparations have been saying, yeah, tax those corporations. I mean, that's what—that's something T.I. was out there championing— uh, the year before, I don't know if it was last year, maybe early last year, year before last, you know, even Robert Smith now with his 2% plan where he wants these corporations and institutions to give 2% of their net income per year to different black organizations. So that's always, that's, that's always been a thing. He's, he's absolutely right with that. I just thought it was a really interesting argument. I've never heard about specifically the businesses that profited off oh, of yeah. it because that's accountability 101. I think the biggest issue people have yeah, with- see, it's right here. 15 major corporations. I know, I believe you. You never knew I believe you. I'm just saying. Slavery. Lehman I think Brothers, the biggest it, Adna Inc., yeah. J.P. Morgan Chase, New York Life. Yeah. yeah All I'm mean, saying is I think the biggest issue white America has with reparations is, yo, I didn't do it and I had nothing to do with it. So why am I paying money when I might well, not be successful right now? Well, because the ramifications of slavery are still being felt today. You know what yeah, I'm but saying? That, that wasn't a choice by those people. Those businesses that are still around today chose to profit off of it. 100%. And then they use those profits to build those businesses. So it's like, well, fuck them. Yeah, but all white people benefit off that caste system that was created. You know what I'm saying? Even when people talk about the racial wealth gap in America, well, there probably wouldn't have been a racial wealth gap if there wasn't 400 years of free labor given. <laughs> you know what I mean? And when the slavery there's, was over, no the question. slaves didn't get compensated, but the slave masters did. Which is yet There's another no example question. of America always dumping money into the wrong fucking shit. There's no question, 100% true, but it wasn't something they asked for, right? It's not, it's not something that, and then some people, I'm sure, ask for racist laws, and some people have been fighting for racist laws and racist mm -hmm. policies, 100%. But some white guy that just like moved here from fucking Russia in the year 1987 is like, Dude, I, I don't even, I just met black people for the first time when I got here. So, you know, they're you not going to be, what I'm trying to talk about is the most practical way to get the money. Yeah, but you know what the you tell that white person? Say what? You know what you tell that white person who just moved here? What? Mind your business. <laughs> like, oh, this, this don't got nothing to do with you. I'm not, I, this is between us and the American government. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He would not do nothing anyway. I, I would tell the white dude from Russia, look, dig into your lineage. All right. Find you a cause. Find you a reason that you're old and get your money. Because right. nine times out of ten, you are probably old something. Yeah. From this from this country. More than likely. Right. So I I'm just saying, like, there's two ways to go about this. There's the emotional way to go about this, and you can't make the argument against racism. You, there's there's no argument against racism. There's no argument that white people have profited from racism. Every single white person, like, you just can't. Th nobody could argue that. But it's unrealistic to get the support from all these poor whites, especially in a time where they're well, probably Well, why do we need support from poor, poor whites? Yeah, they can't well, since, since, This is democracy, there's, right? There's, only, so one, like there's need... only one person that's ever leaned into support from poor whites, and that was Donald Trump. <laughs> like, what are the poor whites yeah. going to have to do with this situation? They can't do nothing anyway. They're not, it's not like well, they got to vote on reparations. Yeah, well, they vote for the people who vote on reparations, and they might not support a vote for reparations if it makes them feel as if some of their money is going to be going in somebody else's pockets for something that they don't have anything to do. I'm telling you, like the reason why these think tanks exist in DC is because they test the temperature of different theories, right? Mm -hmm. And the whole job is to go, how do people react to this? Okay, they're reacting to this poorly, so let's switch the name of it, right? The estate tax is a way better name than the death tax for the same thing. But people go, wait a minute, why should I pay taxes on my dad dying? That's not fair. But estate tax is, well, I don't have an estate. Yeah, you should tax those rich people who have estate. So, so instead of reparations, so, you think you should, I mean, I, and I, I always say, I always say economic equity packages, right? I think but, but the I don't biggest think hurdle is just getting, is, is the accountability thing. The white person that feels like they're completely disconnected from what happened to black people I don't think they're going to want to feel as if they're contributing money, especially if they're struggling. But the white person that sees these billion dollar corporations that they also feel fucked by is going to go, hey, we get to stick it to them. Well, fuck, yes, yeah, stick it to them. Well that's, well, that's why the study is important, right? Because the whole study, the whole H.R. 40 study is going to, you know, factor in 
who profited off slavery, Mm -hmm. how slavery is still impacting us today, how we can come up with a fair, you know, economic equity package, which, by the way, there is no fair economic equity package because you really can't put a price on on what happened to to, to slaves in this country. So it's like I personally don't think that reparations is ever going to come from the government. I think it's only going to come from these corporations. When you see somebody like, I think it was J.P. Morgan like Chase, yeah, who's, who, who just committed to giving $10 billion to black women organizations over the next 10 years. I think it was, Google that real quick, Taylor. I think it was, this just came out like last week. But they, they, they said they're giving $10 billion over the next 10 years to black organizations. And when you see the NBA or the NFL, you know, commit a certain amount of money. And when you see so, these corporations that are, doing Robert Smith's 2% plan. I think it's only going to come from corporations. I don't think the American government will ever... Goldman Sachs. Goldman Sachs. That's what it was. I wouldn't... I never... I I don't think the government is ever going to say, yo, here's reparations for black people, regardless of who's with it. I mean, we live in a country where yesterday, literally, literally yesterday in Tennessee, they're voting on whether or not to abolish slavery because slavery is still legal in the state constitution. And four Republican senators in Tennessee voted against it. Crazy. And one of the guys said... <laughs> There's only two senators per state. What do you mean? Every state has two senators. No, nah, that can't be the case because four Republican senators in Tennessee voted against it yesterday. Are they like... This is they, state. Oh, this is state now. Oh, this is state senators. State. This, this is in Tennessee. Like the Senate as we know it. This is in... Yeah, you know, this is, okay, this, this this is, is in, the, in the state constitution in Tennessee. So right, the four right, right. senators voted against it. One of the dudes said... I mean, there's really no need to vote against this because it's not real. Uh, slavery was was fake. It was false history of slavery. I saw. It's like you think you think they're going to ever give you reparations if they won't even admit slavery was real. Yeah, it was <laughs> like, a game. Like, come on, man. It never happened. It's like you. you I, I I literally just uh uh sent this right. I sent this to a friend. Right? I literally just sent this. This is about this is mental health. A tip for mental health. Learn to distinguish who deserves an explanation, who deserves one answer, and who deserves absolutely nothing. Imagine mm. having a conversation with reparations uh, to a guy who doesn't even believe slavery was real and doesn't even want to vote to abolish slavery. You think that conversation will get anywhere, Schultz? No. And that's, but those are the people who are in charge of legislation. Yeah, so, you can't reason with someone who never used reason to come to their conclusion. Very true. Very true. So I, I personally think reparations is only going... It's only going to come from corporations and it's not going to ever be called reparations. Right. It's just going to be people who are in these positions of power who have seen the, the, the injustice that has happened to black people in this country. And they're deciding to do the right thing, whether it's Goldman yeah. Sachs saying we're going to invest 10 billion here or, you know, another company saying we're going to invest this into the black community. Or we're going to invest this in the black organizations or we're going to, you know, give equity to black people, you know, when they, come to our companies. That's the only way I think it's ever going to get on a, even get close to what we would call reparations. But that's why I call it economic mm. equity packages. Mm. Go after the people with the money. But Alex, Alex isn't, Alex isn't wrong at all. Cause I think that's the only yeah. place it's going to come from. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What, did he say, what else interesting did he say? Oh God, a lot of things, bro. He's a wild motherfucker. He was talking about interdimensional beings. He was talking about... uh, Is he a character? Does he really believe this shit? I told him, I was like, dude, just say you're a comedian. Like, (laughs) I I said, if you had said you were a comedian fucking years ago, nobody would care. Like, you just say wild shit. That's what comedians do for a living. Mm -hmm. But the fact that you position yourself as a journalist, you're going to get the expectations of a journalist. People think you're smart. That's simple. You're asking for those expectations. But, um... I think Mark even asked him, he's like, should your audience take everything you say seriously? And he was like, no. <laughs> I feel like that so, with everybody, though. Yeah, I think that's the problem with the society we live in now. We take everything too fucking seriously. Yeah. yeah. That. That's why sarcasm is dead. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And you got to like that, like that quote I just at, I read. It's like, yo, you got to know what to give your energy to. Does everything deserve a response? Does everything no. deserve outrage? Oh, no. Mm. no. Yeah, no, that's a good ass point. Shit, what did you think up. about the uh, Cardi B thing with Candace? And I think Candace is incredible at stirring up waters to catch fish. 
Yeah. And Cardi it, it, falls and for it all the time. Everybody, all of y'all fall for it. Don't just say Cardi. Mm. Everybody falls for it. Candace yeah. has a way no, of riling understand. people up. Yeah, she know how to get it's, and, and it's, it's you, know, you got to respect people like that. You know what I'm saying? Because truthfully, literally, if you just ignored her, there would be nothing there. The problem is because she's a black woman talking like this. Who cares? But yeah, I, yeah, I think who cares? This is one of those weird situations where I think Cardi used Candace. Talk to me. Nobody's watching the Grammys. Nobody's watching the Emmys. Nobody's watching any of these shows anymore. Like I don't even know if they're streaming or if they're on a regular the television channel. I have no fucking Grammys was good this year, but it had the lowest uh, ratings ever. Yeah, of course, nobody's watching, right? Ooh. But it's so, also too because people watch on so many different devices. But you still, just saw nobody's it on Instagram. Watching. So you say what? the thing with the thing with um, Cardi is. Candace knows she has a couple buttons that she can push that's going to rile things up, right? It's like, who does her audience hate? Okay, Cardi B is one of the people her audience hates uh-huh. because her audience sees Cardi as this girl who's like leaning into like liberal leftist politics, but has no clue what she's talking about. That's how they feel about Cardi, right? Mm-hmm. They uh-huh. think that she's a hypocrite. You know, she's so liberal when it counts for an election, but the way that she actually lives her life, it doesn't seem that liberal. So they like to poke out the fucking hypocrisy, right? Yes. So she knows the button to push. But then I'm thinking Cardi's like, oh, I could stir up a little internet beef with this girl. My fans are going to think I dunked all over her and everybody else is going to go watch the Grammy performance because of the Twitter beef that we've started up. I didn't watch that video until there was this beef and I wouldn't have watched the video without the beef. So I'm on See, some part. I'm like, is Candace bullying Cardi or is Cardi playing the what is the Ali uh, shit? The rope a dope. Well, I I think what one thing about Cardi, Cardi is not letting you talk about her, regardless of who you are. You know what I'm saying? Right. Cardi will get at every, Cardi gets at regular everyday Twitter people who got something to say about her. You know what I'm saying? So right. she wasn't gonna let Candace slide. Um, I don't think I don't think Cardi was using Candace, but I mean Candace said what she said on Fox News with Tucker Carlson. So I would yeah, <clears throat> I would think that. You know, Candace was using the Cardi Meg situation and the Grammys more so than, you know, Cardi, because Cardi was just responding. But yeah, I, I, I mean, I, I, I it's think so it, much hypocrisy, yeah. right? Because mm-hmm. it's like, yo, you can't really get mad at Cardi for a song like WAP and say Cardi is, you know, making young girls disrespect themselves or sending the wrong message to young girls. They you, don't. you supported Donald Trump. Mr. Yeah, Grab I mean, him by the pussy. <laughs> like, I guess. Like, I guess like, I, we were having this combo on on uh, on flagrant, but like, I guess what I'm curious about also is that are you for censorship or against it, Candace? Mm, because that's a good point, right? The second anybody says something that's like a joke or, or or not even a joke, an opinion that could be considered offensive, you're like the liberals just want to cancel. The liberals just want to shut people down. The liberals just want to censor everything. Yeah. And the second Cardi acts in a way that you don't like, you try to censor it. So what can be censored and what can't be censored? If you are against censorship, you're against censoring the things you don't like as well. If you're just against censoring the things you like and for censoring things you don't, you're no different than the people that you hate. I agree with you, but I also wonder too, if Candace is looking at it like, all right, this is free speech, right? So Cardi's allowed to do what she did on stage, but I'm allowed to come out and say, I didn't like that. I'm allowed to come out and say, yeah. that's not the way you should move as a woman, right? You know what I mean? That's, that's a so good maybe, point. Yeah, so maybe maybe that's how she's looking at it. So I'm I, maybe misrepresenting her point. Maybe she's saying that she, she's not saying she shouldn't be allowed to do it, but she's being critical of the uh, thing. Of the act. Doing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, that, I mean, that's what I read from go. it. From what I heard her saying on Tucker Carlson, she was just saying like, that's not how you're supposed to move. If you're a woman, you're sending the wrong message to young girls. Yada, yada, yada. Did y'all see the tweets, though? Huh? Y'all see the tweets back and forth, though? No, I didn't see none of the tweets back and forth. uh, Oh, the tweets are funny. She added on, uh, what's Melania, whatever, and said that she gets, she um, got inspired because of her. And then... That was a good point. She basically... That she was a said, good point. Yeah, why Cardi don't you said, have though. this same energy for Melania, yeah. right? Yeah. Melania, yeah. that's a good and point. Candace says, well, she grew up and like that's not her anymore. Cardi's 20 something. <laughs> She's seven. <laughs> like, yeah. Cardi's 20 something years old. Give her yeah. a second. 
She's 20 something years old. By the way, her performance wasn't, I'm, I'm different. I grew up in my neck, my back, lick my pussy and my ass yeah. crack era. Yeah, okay, I grew yeah, up with yeah, little yeah. Kim saying, I used to be scared of the dick, now I put lips on the shit, handle it like a real bit. Like, WAP is yeah. tame. No, <laughs> but you, but you, but you want little girls to see it, though? If I see my but niece and them saying, I'm like, Who cares? Ah, They're going to see all these other that. songs like that, too. Like, why listen, is it matter what party Listen, doing? everybody going to do their thing, but if I see my little niece and gay, what the fuck y'all doing? Oh. Get over here. They're going to give the WAP to someone? What about your niece listening to you? Exactly. Listen, I don't want them to. Every but time they tell me they're doing it, I'd be upset. No, like, you're being, I tell my sisters and them, no, you're being a hypocrite right now. Hypocrite Even my mama. Yo, I don't want that's the thing. To we need to stop calling people out for being hypocrites. You should be a hypocrite. If well, you're not a hypocrite, you're leading a miserable life. Really? <laughs> being a hypocrite is the shit. I love being a hypocrite. And and remember, I was like, don't leave New York. It is. And want. then the second I left New York, I came down to Miami. It was 80 degrees today. I was walking around outside like a hypocrite feeling great. Be a hypocrite, huh? <laughs> Be a hypocrite. Like, stop trying to live this fucking life to this specific code. Fuck all but that. You gotta be have a human some, being. You're going to be but, flawed. But I'll tell you the difference, Schultz. You know you're being a hypocrite. You're self-aware. Don't be one of these uh, people who contradict themselves, be a hypocrite, and then act like, so I never I thought like that to begin with. But how am I being a hypocrite? <laughs> because you get on the podcast and talk about you, oh, you talk about women you women. fucked. Exactly. So your niece is here that and your niece is like, oh, that's, that's the kind of women true. Uncle Wax that's, like. That's not Yo, true. If you actually listen to the thing. podcast. Double oh, standards. If, if you actually listen to the podcast, I always tell you, I don't like girls who have more than one penis a year. I always true, talk about but you're being, being a hypocrite with that. Nobody cares about, these about same this, girls. man. That's lip service. I don't, I don't, I don't do that wax, no more. Your actions say otherwise. I don't do that no more. You're explaining. Why are you explaining yourself? You're losing. Say you believe in double standards and you're in the same I definitely, definitely believe in double standards. I explaining for no reason. You wasting your but breath you explaining. Win, Say, I believe in double standards. I Women believe do. in double I don't standards. Want my little nieces doing that. I don't want them to be out there. Okay, but they're going right to they're eventually. So, they're going to get the wild So cool. you don't want your nieces having sex? Uh, at not at the wrong time. No, and they're going to eventually do it. Yes, but have it the right. If I got my young nieces, Wax. like I said, I'm not talking about Wax. my older nieces. My younger nieces, I don't want them to think that's the right thing to do, and they be over here whopping on these fucking young boys out here. What you? What do you call young? I'm talking about. I got nieces from two. To twenty, but relax. isn't that also you ain't, up you ain't to get the, married when you lose your virginity? I, I, I ain't had no choice. My shit. How got old was the girl? I don't know. What you mean? You don't know? <laughs> How old me, was the girl? I was young as hell. But wax, you're forgetting the parents are raising the children, not Cardi. She's not raising the children. Anything I understand. Like that. That's, That's not true either. Me. That's why I said I. Nah, I get being influenced, but I'm just saying. Influences. My I got people that influence me way more than my mom and dad. Hundred percent. I understand respect. that, but respect. they can't. What were you gonna say, Andrew? No, I said no. That's a good point. We get influenced by these people. People make millions of dollars because they're influential, right? right? They can get us to wear sneakers. They can get us to wear clothes. They can get us to get certain tattoos. That's like, right. I mm -hmm. mean, look at the fucking Kardashians. They make women change the way their face looks. Literally, every one of these looks. girls that gets plastic surgery gets plastic surgery to look like a Kardashian. So clearly, people have influence over us. It's not mm -hmm. just our parents. You know what I mean? But yeah, what but I'm trying to tell you, wax is. Just be like, yeah, I'm a hypocrite. I don't want any girl that I know and care about fucking anybody. And that's just what it is. Period. Man, like, I it's wish, a beautiful I place agree with to you, live. Shows. No, I agree with you. You know, yeah, Nikki, right. Nikki Giovanni Bro. said that if you, if you, if you, if you look back on old shit you did or old shit you said, and you haven't contradicted yourself, you haven't grown. Yeah, she did. Yeah, she said bro. that. Nikki Giovanni said that verbatim, and I, 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 I totally agree with that. But I do want some consistency. But I need, I need a yeah, little. Yeah, I'm gonna be consistently hypocritical. They call me <laughs> Hippocrates, bro. Listen, I, I never, ever, I always said that I never wanted my young nieces and nobody to have to be doing the stuff that I was out there doing. Yeah, I get it. Yes, do at it. a young age, of course. But at the end of the day, I got, you no, can't... I got nothing to do with you getting older. It's, I got nothing to do with that. It's so much hypocrisy, and it's hypocrisy on both sides. I mean, even if you look at. What's happening with Joe Biden and the kids at the border? He's not handling that shit no better than Trump did. But the Come media on, doesn't bro. talk about it the way they talked about it with Trump. Like you Trump. know what I mean? They like Trump had a zero tolerance policy. Joe Biden says, don't come here. <laughs> what's the <laughs> fucking difference? <laughs> like, 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 what's the difference? Am I tripping? He was warning them, though. Same, same thing with Cuomo and Biden. It's like, Cuomo, yeah. we need you to yeah. resign. You Biden. had seven women that said you did inappropriate stuff to them. Biden had eight. What? I'm trying. I'm, I'm just. I'm, if somebody can tell me the difference, just tell me the difference. Like, no difference. Just, there's just no consistency. Everybody's hypocrites, and you that's know, fine. That's but, why you can't be in politics, man. Because in, if you're in politics, you're not supposed to be a hypocrite. 
And then you can't be an actual real person. But if you're an actual real person, you'd be like, yo, I did that shit. It is what it is. Shit fell right in the moment, you know? Yeah. So the, the thing about the, the hypocrisy is like hypocr hypocrisy. hypocrisy and like, <laughs> yeah. Double standards and that kind of shit is like, everybody's cool with double standards until it affects them. You know what I mean? Like yeah. women, women hate double standards until the check comes and all of a sudden <laughs> double standards or, or, or they get is completely you. reasonable. <laughs> That's fact. Yeah. Right? No, I'm with yeah. you. So like, I'm with you. Yeah. Everybody got our why why don't we stop acting like literally there's an entire religion called Christianity that's built around knowing we're all hypocrites. They give us the rules of how we should live. And Jesus is like, yo, by the way, Unlimited I know you're gonna fuck up. I know you're gonna fuck up. And I forgive you for doing what you're about to do. And then we're like, we're not gonna fuck up. And then we do, we're like, yo, my bad. He's like, I know, bro. I but know. But you definitely get better because you you feel like he's watching you. So at least you know that. Listen, I'm gonna definitely get better. I damn sure did. A lot of things I didn't do because of the man upstairs is watching me. So, yeah, how many tries did it take though? Again, he gave he gave okay. me he gave mercy on me. He could have killed me a long time ago. That's why you give unlimited forgiveness. For, it's like that's like breadsticks at Olive Garden, baby. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like God knew that we had weaknesses. He we, he knew yeah, that you know sure. we were gonna make mistakes. But man, it, but this is the part that's really confusing, right? If you're just sitting back on the outside looking in, how do you define right and wrong? Based off media, based how I feel good. If do I feel good? <laughs> do I feel good? Do I That's feel good? Is. That's right. Do I feel bad? That's wrong. Simple. <laughs> Listen. Do you think Governor Cuomo is confused as fuck right now? <laughs> no, seriously, because he's sitting back and they're like, "We just had Donald Trump as president. Oh yeah, Joe Biden won the White House, but y'all want me to resign, bruh." <laughs> Bro, like, like, you 100% right there's no standard yeah, you 100% wow. right I'm just saying there's no uniform and there's no standard like what's the standard it's all about there's no like standard bro here's the deal if those restaurants in New York City were open to at least 50% capacity I would say I don't believe any of those girls. But the fact that he closed New York, they seem very credible to me, bro. Yeah. <laughs> they seem very credible. Every one of them should seem credible because it affects my life. My life is affected. Me, me, me. It's all me. By the way, that's really what it is. It is. The reason, it is. The reason they didn't hold a Joe Biden to that standard because they wanted Joe Biden to win the presidency. Oh. And by the way, that's fine. But just admit the hypocrisy. Yeah. The reason nobody called out Trump because Trump was in power. They called they, The people that didn't like Trump was using it against him to try to get him out of power. The people mm -hmm. that supported him was like, nah, 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 ignore that. You know yeah. what I mean? Like, yep, come we on. Don't care about that. We all know oh. that. It's all about self-interest, man. And if, 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 if we can admit that, the world would be a better place. But once again, hey, it still doesn't hey. show you what's right and what's wrong because there's no standard to any of this shit. Charlemagne, I got a pool. <laughs> <laughs> That's what hypocrisy gave me. Hypocrisy gave me a pool, a canal, a beautiful house, a barbecue I don't know how to use. Hypocrisy is beautiful. I don't even, I don't even know if I call it, it hypocrisy. Got me a, show. Charlemagne, Charlemagne, it got me a Netflix special. Yeah. Tell me when hypocrisy hasn't served me well. Here's the thing: I, I wouldn't call. I wouldn't call what you did. I wouldn't call that hypocrisy. Yeah. I would call it contradiction. But it's a good contradiction because you got new information. You're like, you know what? Fuck this New York shit. But then you said, let's go to Miami for the weekend. Then you was like, you know what? Fuck this New York shit. All right, <laughs> I'm staying in Miami because you felt that sun. Yeah. And I by the way, that son, bro, and then Cuomo wouldn't let the city open. De Blasio wouldn't let the city open. To your point, somebody called uh, the radio station the other day, somebody called the Breakfast Club, and they actually were on Cuomo's side, and they was like, you know, all of these politicians are saying Cuomo should resign. Ask New Yorkers. And this, this, he actually liked Cuomo, though. I forgot the reasons he said he liked Cuomo. He was like, I, he was like, ask us if we want him to resign. You know what I mean? Like, why? Like, mm -hmm. y'all don't, who, that, we don't care about what y'all got to say. And you know mm -hmm. why? But but to, to that guy's point, you probably don't care what they got to say because he know that it has nothing to do with what Cuomo is actually accused of. It's something else going on that we don't know about that they on Cuomo's ass for because there's no oh, way in hell you, you bypass the 10,000 or 8,000 older people that had COVID that he didn't even report. Yeah. Bro, you, you lied about the, that and said it was a mistake? It's doke bro. You bury a story with a more compelling story. So he lies about 10,000 old people getting murked in these old people, uh, people homes because of his decisions. He just lies about it. Right. And then you bring out a story that he could rebound from. Right. Mm -hmm. 
oh, he was inappropriate with some of his aides, this, that, the other. It's not going to come out that it's anything too crazy. Maybe it will. Who knows? But like he said things that are inappropriate, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Right. Same thing would happen with the royal family. Right. Literally, Prince Andrew is Epstein's best friend. OK, really? there's pictures with him and underage girls. He's clearly yeah. been to the island. They clearly went to his really? house in New York. Of course. Oh, I never this thought of it. That's the thing. And what do they so, bury that story with? Oh, Meghan Markle, we're going to say that the, the kid was too dark and we didn't like the fucking kid. It's, get yeah. the, it's a, a nonsense story. Talk about how you're protecting a fucking pedophile in the goddamn uh, Buckingham Palace. Or actually, wow. I don't even know where Prince Andrew lives. <laughs> but it's the same shit. You kill a story with another story, bro. Yeah, wow. and it's so weird. It's it's like, yo, the, the, the older people that Cuomo didn't report that died that story is not even a b story a c story it's like a little byline sometimes in people's articles <laughs> and it's like that's what you could actually nail him on mm -hmm. that's what you could Cuomo actually get him this. out here with yeah. Cuomo is absolutely loving this bro but they can't let that story go because there's probably a bunch of other like democrat governors that made the same decision and they'd be liable as well yeah. so if that story goes then it just kind of trickles down and the say. democrats the you know democratic institution a republican institution would do the exact same fucking thing yeah. if they were in the same position so don't get me wrong but uh but they're just like yeah we can't let that story leak so just say that uh he's inappropriate with chicks i think that's brilliant the, i think what you said is is, is true right like you know everybody got to lean into their own hypocrisy but i think that if if everybody just like stop pointing fingers right it's literally like i'm sitting here smoking a blunt and i'm like yo you need to stop smoking weed yo y'all see this mm -hmm. dude over here smoking weed yo this guy's smoking mm -hmm. weed he shouldn't be smoking weed i'm over here smoking too like everybody got some shit with them and by the way the same shit so i can't look at your shit and say your shit is bad but my shit is acceptable either everybody mind they fucking business <laughs> All right. Oh, we got to have one set standard for mm -hmm. everybody. My if business. not, everybody shut the fuck up and yeah. move on with your lives, man. Because this shit is really getting confusing. Unless it directly affect you. That's the only reason why I say that about my nieces, because I know that's going to directly affect me if anything happened. Other than that, I really don't give a fuck. What's yeah. going to... Never mind. But you nice. would live. You you would. Um, in life. You would oh. feel. You would feel better. And I, I bet you, you do feel better now, knowing that you're not dogging women out the way you used to. Um, I mean, I never really dog women Shut out. I had sex with them. Okay, okay. Right. All right, let's, so slow down. I, only thing I didn't do is commit <laughs> to women. Only thing I didn't do is commit to them. I didn't do nothing crazy to women. I had sex with them. I didn't commit to them. Max, that's the worst. What did I do? Times. Didn't know other guy. You didn't did even know them. their names. Okay, that's what I'm saying. That's the, if that's the worst thing you I did, put your I, I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm a neck. victim. Huh? Didn't you put your boot on your on their neck and drown them in part, water? It was having, that was a part of sex. What, what are you talking fuck? about? It wasn't. It wasn't like it wasn't like the ice cubes, bro. You got the ice cubes in their butt. I that's what I'm saying. You got to close Guantanamo Bay. Listen, that was kinky stuff back in the day that people do. It wasn't like oh she no don't put your timber on my neck. I ain't never put my foot on nobody. Never lied to any of the girls. When I was young, growing up is trying to lie to a girl, make her think that you like her, just so you can have sex with her. I, this this new so shit that wrong. girls start liking me. Every every guy had to lie to try to get a girl. You never try to. Oh, I, I, you never but, lie to a girl. Excuse so that me, you like that's her? not wrong. We're talking no, about what's I wrong. I really right liked though. Them. You did what yeah, type of lies was, would you that's tell? That's what I was trying to get with her. Uh, I mean, what, what type of lies? Yeah, what the, lies? Regular, the regular lies. Every every man tell her, act like you like her. Um, acting like you like her. Just reading her Bible scriptures every night, <laughs> no. having your mama pray for. Her. I wouldn't go that far. Wax don't play fair. Wax full of shit. Wax used to have his mama <laughs> pray for girls. That's going a bit too no, far, yo. Yes, yes it is, man. You know your mama a prayer warrior, yo. We understand. And you that. got your mama praying for these girls. That's fucked up, Wax. They get in touch with my mom. I don't know. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Fucking. Just kill me. So you think so good, man? Hold on. So you really yeah. think that I made these girls pray in my mind and try to bait them to give me some pussy? Yes. Yes. <laughs> You are crazy. Yes. 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 Yo, Wax. Wax is absolutely hilarious, bro. Yes. Yes. What you just said, this is what it sounded like. We just said, wait, so you really thought I bought this Lamborghini so girls would be attracted to me and they would want to have sex with me? Like, <laughs> wait, Yo, huh? I, I like, never baited girls. When I was young, we all lied and made a girl think that we they, we liked them so much. When they get, we got the pussy, Not I me. ran out of houses and stuff. And maybe you liked the girls. I, did, I, I really did. Pussy. Every girl I ever tried to get so, what I liked. Wax, do you think that's wrong or no, 
Wrong or not? When I was real young, you can't count that shit. We talking Why? about when it, when it actually supposed to count. No, your niece you, age. Yes. That's where you got to start because you don't want your nieces to be in that same situation. Well, so you got to start man, at that mercy exactly. to your niece's age. For real. Well, hopefully they don't sit there and get caught up in that type of shit because I talk to them all the time. Man. Karma's a motherfucker, yo. It is, it is. The, the, Karma is a motherfucker. The things dude. you try to it fight is. against the most is really what happens, yo. Mm-hmm. Jesus. I took <laughs> 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 Listen, thank God I never disrespected did nothing wild, crazy to girls. I did. Thanks. Can I say something about men real quick, man? This yeah. is what men got to stop doing. Let's go. And you tell yeah. me the worst thing. And I too. said this on Bill Maher the other night. We got to stop listening to each other about what all of this shit is. Whether it's sexual mm. harassment, what's inappropriate. Right. Yeah. As long as we listen to each other, this You're shit going to continue. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> right? Thank you. Stop listening to us. We don't know what the fuck we talking about. We clearly have been getting this shit wrong for a long no, you're right. time. You're right. I'm not listening to no man about what sexual harassment is or what about it being inappropriate is. If a woman tell me that's inappropriate, I'm taking her word for it. That's that. You know, that you can really do. No. Exactly. That's a double standard. That's not a double fucking standard. I don't Shut think up. that's. A, I don't think that's How? a double standard. <laughs> Right now, yeah, how are you going to tell me that? Yeah. Hold on, yeah, hold how on. you going to tell me what the double standard is? Go ahead, keep that face too. Um, <laughs> hold on, I, I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you this. You, you know how I many t- a girl can sit there? If I sit there and say, "Hey, how do you, you do it to a girl or whatever?" And she's like, "Oh, I feel, you feel creepier." That's 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 gonna be a sexual harassment, right? If I if she said that to me and I say that, everybody gonna look at me like I'm fucking stupid. Yeah, like, but it's the way you wear your pants. Up. It's the way you wear your pants. Nah, for real. <laughs> See, I, Zoom in so on his pants. Right. That, that shit too look creepy, man. He got his shit up like this. He got his balls out. He's like, hi, how you doing? It's like, come on, man. That shit is a little threatening, Wax. <laughs> All right, here's my question. <laughs> it's a little threatening, yo. No, this, let me say it is, though. Here's Double my standard. question. How do you, how do you know it's, it's sexual harassment? Because One, how you know it's it. harassment? Like, because she my goal says it. isn't her, isn't to harass. Intention is like, important, not, but intention doesn't matter once she says once she say you made over. me uncomfortable. Period. Intention but like, doesn't. For example, let's say she's like, this guy was sexually harassing me. He like wouldn't stop. Like he's trying to talk to me. He's knocking on my door. Blah blah blah. And then they go to me, and I'm like, I'm a Jehovah's Witness. Like I just want her to go to heaven. <laughs> like I, I don't. <laughs> Like, I, I literally spir- don't want her to spend harassment. eternity in hell. That's spiritual yeah, harassment. But, but I'm sure Stop, that's pushing, your, stop pushing your God on me, Alex. I mean, show, stop pushing your God on me. It's a spiritual yeah, harassment. But, but, but it really happens because, listen, a, a dude was trying to tell me that my um thing was open, and I'm thinking that he was trying to fight me. So I'm over here putting my middle finger up. He's trying to speed up and let me know my uh, gas tank is open. And I'm over yeah. like, fuck you, and I pull to the side of the road. Like, what's up? Like, yo, okay, your what, gas tank is open. What if it was your fly? What's that got to do with anything? <laughs> the guy was like, yo, <laughs> your fly's open, yo. And, and maybe, yo, maybe, yo, maybe, yo, yo, your dick's out. And what if the dude was like, yo, yo, <laughs> I can suck that? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, but, but, but yo. I, I, I'm, trying, I'm trying to say is that free that was like, is, this, is that a sample pack but, but even more than that if, if I do got my Why fly open out? if I do got my fly open and he pointing at my meat I might think he trying to point at my dick I know it no what if you in the village what if you in Atlanta somewhere you know what I'm saying okay perfect example remember that time we ended up in that gay party guys after yeah. the MTV awards yeah what if we were in that gay party that night and Wax had his zip open that's You're on right. you, bro. You know what I'm saying? That's on you. You kind of... I, I understand that. So if he was pointing at me trying to tell me my zipper is closed and I'm thinking he's trying to do it in my meat, I'm going to go tell the security <laughs> this guy is hitting on me. What if a gay guy walk up to wife and go, free drinks? Because <laughs> 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 you're fly open. <laughs> but that, 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 that means nothing. I don't get it. You get it? I get it. You don't get it? No. <laughs> what is it? The chokes? Help me. <laughs> what that mean? He's saying that the drinks are going to come from your dick. <laughs> Your fly's open in the gay party. So yeah. what, how much piss I gotta fly. be drinking? It's like I don't get it. Oh, it's not piss. Yeah, it ain't bro. piss, son. <laughs> <laughs> son ain't let piss, me tell you about bro. the birds and the bees, son. That ain't piss. <laughs> that ain't piss, son. Well, I'm just I was saying because you said the whole witness thing. I was saying that girls just sit there and just whatever, man. Yeah, whatever, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I want you to answer that guy when he walks up to you in the club and asks, can he suck that? All right? <laughs> Whatever, man. <sighs> okay? Well, let's pay some bills because I got to pee. Me too. All right, me too, bro. All right, let's stop for a second and pay some bills, man. I got to salute Cushy Dreams. 
Uh, the world today is nuts. And just when it seems like things are getting better, we're hit with even more reasons to be anxious and uncomfortable. And that's why our friends at Cushy Dreams can help. OK, Cushy Dreams specializes in high quality smokable CBD. And CBD has been shown to help with anxiety, depression, inflammation, even pain relief and more. And smoking CBD gets it into your system right away so you don't have to wait long for the effects. Cushy Dreams Extraordinary CBD Rich Hemp Flower comes in eight Eight ounce cans and pre roll joints. Okay, you can get an eighth. Okay, an eighth and an eighth ounce can and pre roll joints. All right, it is cannabis that ships discreetly to you and directly to all fifty states. They offer indigo and sativa strains that deliver effects like relax, create, hustle, peace, energy, and dream. Okay, with cushy dreams, experience the therapeutic benefits of CBD with full flower, full spectrum, and full flavor. We know you're sick of carts, vapes, gummies, and want to smoke your CBD, and now you can enjoy all of the benefits of cannabis without getting high. Go to CushyDreams.com, K-U-S-H-Y. At checkout, use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order, first, second, etc. Smoke your CBD with promo code IDIOTS and get 20% off today. Um, You know, we were talking about reparations earlier, man. A great podcast to check out is uh the Big Payback podcast hosted by Erica Alexander and, and, and Whitney Dow. Like, they break down reparations from all angles. You know what I'm saying? They talk to people who are for it. They talk to the people who are against it. They talk to people who can tell you how to get it done. It's a great, great podcast um, on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. Y'all know Erica Alexander. Uh, she was uh, Pam from the Cosby Show, Cosby Show and Maxine Shaw, attorney at law on Living Single. And she's just a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant sister, man, that I just, I love to hear breaking down, you know, a number of different things. So check out the Big Payback podcast on the Black Effect iHeartRadio podcast network. Um, shout out to Drake. Have you heard the songs, Schultz? Nah, a little bit. Have I heard a little bit? He debuted one, two, and three on Billboard. Um, congrats to him. You know, I said on this podcast a few months ago when I had Wayno and Nyla on, I asked the question. I said, is 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 the Drake era over? And um, my reason for saying that is because, like, we know Drake dominates radio. We know Drake dominates the charts, but... Sometimes radio is not an accurate reflection of what is going on in the streets, especially nowadays. So I was just asking the question, you know what I'm saying? Is 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 this still the Drake era? Because, you know, when you watch the Grammys, you see the babies and the little babies and the Meg the Stallions and the Roddy Riches, you know what I mean? It just seems like when it comes to hip hop, I mean, it's not, not when it seems like those are the people that are running things right now. And Drake is always going to be Drake, but... um. Yeah, I just was wondering, you know, I, I, does he have another level? And, you know, for me, I really like that three pack. You know, I thought the lemon pepper freestyle was mean. What's that bar I like when he talks about um, when he said uh, what he said? He said he said fame. Fame is, is more disconnected from celebrity. What was the line? It was something, it was something about celebrity and fame don't go hand in hand. You know, but then he was like, um, most of the time you got to ask people what their what their profession is. That's very true. Right. Because celebrity nowadays, it's like, what the fuck is that? Yeah. Put the lyrics up for me because I love this bar. This is this is a great bar. Where is it at? Hit more, Taylor. You ain't heard none of the song shows. I probably had it on. I think I think we were playing a little bit when we were in Columbus. But um, not hit more, yeah, Taylor. Um, there you go. Now scroll down. I see, but you not hearing the records is what I'm talking about. There was a time you couldn't miss a Drake record, right? I could. Oh, okay. Yeah, Never mind. <laughs> yeah, I'm not like a huge music head where like I need scroll to listen down, to it, man. but I admire his his greatness. Like it's unbelievable what he's done yeah, to stay at the top oh, yeah. of Yo, no, it is. His it craft, is man. Th this line, these <sighs> days fame is disconnected from excellence. Half the time I gotta ask. N words, what their profession is. Usher the, a generation in. These are where my confessions live. I could do a whole podcast on just that one line. These days, fame is disconnected from excellence. You know what I mean? Because you got so many people that have so much celebrity. You know what I mean? Or so much notoriety or even infamy. And you don't even know what the fuck they do. You gotta ask people what they yeah. do. You know what I'm saying? What it is that you do. So, you know, I, Drake is going to always Drake. I was just asking a simple question. And, you know, the internet takes things and run with it. 
And they said, I said Drake yeah. fell off. I never said Drake fell off. I always said Drake is Drake. And I also never even questioned whether Drake can do what he does on the charts. I just wanted to Drake have another level. That lemon pepper so freestyle. A- it's another level, man. It's another, to me, it's, a, that's a, it's another level of lyricism to me. This is a perfect example where you should just admit your hypocrisy because on this very podcast, <laughs> well, I was—I mean, it's not even said, a hypocrisy. I was wrong. No, no. On this very podcast, a few months back, you were like, "Yeah, it's done for Drake." I, did not I think say the that. Drake era is over. I did not say yes, that. you did. Someone, someone go find that, that shit. Say that. Someone go find that shit. I just said, you said the Drake just, era is over. But I just said that. You no, eat? I said, I said, That's I asked the question: Is the Drake era over? And no, then, no. And then this it, is months ago. You said it was over. Yeah. No, I like did not. Old for no, Drake. I did. No, I did not. No, I did not. You did. That's a lie. Yo, no, just I mean, you questioned it and then you thought about it. Like, I think so. I questioned it and then I thought about it based off the fact that we know he dominates radio, but radio doesn't reflect what's actually happening in the culture a lot of the times. It was when he made that song that came out with like a TikTok dance. Yeah. I know. No, I hated that. But that, that's when I was really, I was just pissed that's off because, crazy. but here's the thing. And I want y'all to remember this, right? It's not just with Drake. It's with any great, right? We love... The Tootsie reason slide. we don't want Tom Brady to retire... Tootsie Slide? Is because... Tootsie Slide. The reason we don't want Tom Brady to retire is because we really want to see how great this motherfucker could be. Yeah, can he do it again? It's, exactly. So when you see somebody with that kind of potential, you like, the fuck are you doing making Tootsie Slide? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Even though, even though, my take? Even, even, even though, Didn't I say this shit ain't gonna catch on? It did, though. It was number one song in the country. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but look, I'm Hippocrates, bro. It's all That's good, dude. Listen, I'm just being wrong. We were wrong. I'm li- Listen, I'm liberated in my hypocrisy. All I'm saying, liberate yourself, bro. Just liberate yourself. Just take the plunge, bro. Let me but I, but baptize no, you in hypocrisy. I, no, because I'm still standing on it because now I'm, I'm, ex- I'm expecting even more, right? Because I heard this Lemon Pepper freestyle and I'm like... All right, and I like that What's Next record a lot too because he's basically saying, hey, I've done this and that, but we just got to see what's next. You know what I mean? I don't know. what We, I'm, we, gotta, we just got to see what's next. And, and that, I like that just because that's how the universe works, right? Like sometimes you just got to let things flow. But I am expecting a classic from Drake with Certified Loverboy. I'm putting that kind of pressure on him because he had a decade mm. of dom- dominance, right? Oh. And Certified Loverboy is coming. He's at that point in his career where he's playing with house money. Only thing he has to do is deliver us excellence. And by the way, Drake is a standard himself, right? So Drake, the Drake that we have right now is enough. But I know it's another level, y'all. I have a question. I know it's another level. What makes it a classic, though? What do you mean, what makes a classic? What makes a classic album to you? Are you comparing it to Jay-Z's? Like, no, I'm not comparing it. Well, I'm, only thing only thing I'm comparing it to is the fact that Jay-Z definitely did get better with time. You know what I'm saying? Even people like Lil Wayne, later in their career, they was giving us some of their best stuff. That whole Young Money era started, and that shit, that might have been Wayne's second or third win in the game, actually. You know what I mean? Or even Nas with Still Matic. Like, these people that are, you know, J- Jay-Z gave us the Black album like 10 years into his career. You know what I mean? Oh. It's just like, these are the people that... I'm 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 looking at and I'm comparing Drake to because he is one of those. So, Would you rather have Drake's career or Jay Z's career? Jay Z. Jay Z. Oh dang. Oh, but I mean, listen, I'm 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 older, you know what I'm saying? So that's the generation I grew up in. But I would rather have Hove's because Hove has a very undeniable catalog. I mean, Drake's catalog is undeniable too, but it's just like, it just feel like Hove's catalog still means a little bit more. Got a little bit more meat on the bones. You know, and I mean, like, Hove is known as the GOAT. He's the greatest of all time. Drake right. even said on one of those leak records, it's just me and Hove. You know what I mean? Which I still disagree with, because I don't know why y'all be disrespecting Kung Fu Kenny so goddamn much. Like, Kendrick Lamar is not a problem. And I cannot wait until Kendrick Lamar drops his next album so y'all can start the West Coast dick licking. Because that's what y'all gonna do. Because that's the era that we live in. Somebody sent me a message the other day. Because uh, Baca, I saw Baca, one of Drake's mans, he put, you know, Drake doing the one, two, three, and he added me, see the God, and he put zip it. And somebody put, stop comparing that Shea Butter ass rapper Kendrick Lamar to Drake. <laughs> like, nobody even thinks about Kendrick no more. <gasps> Damn. So a person takes four years to actually really craft some dope shit, which Kendrick always does. Kendrick takes his time, right? 
And we know Kendrick gonna come out and shift culture. He gonna be on the cover of every magazine. He gonna be on every talk show he chooses to be on. He gonna dominate award season. Everybody gonna be on his dick like they always do, rightfully so, because we know he gonna come with some shit. And then everybody's whole conversation is gonna change. Like, oh, now, nah, yeah, Kendrick is the guy. Kendrick is the man. Yeah, he's the been he's been the man. Like, we are recency the- bias is called. What's it called? recency bias it happens yes, in fight true. sports a lot like if you get a big knockout yeah. then everybody's like oh he's a problem yeah. it's gonna happen this guy's gonna win a title blah 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 and then you get knocked out and everybody's like oh yeah he never had it absolutely so we get recency yeah. bias with everything and, and, 100%. and by the way I'm, i might have had recency bias with drake the past couple of years because scorpion came out 2018 had a lot of you know dope records on it you know, uh, some people was like, oh, it should have been a double album. He had some really good records, some records that was just like, eh. And then, you know, he, he stayed consistent, of course, because he always does features and stuff. But then you give us Tootsie Slide. I'm like, man, I'm not. If this where you're going, we can't. No, bro. No, no, no. You too dope for that. Back. Bring him back. Give, give Tootsie Slide to some kid in Toronto that's 12. You know what I mean? Yo, you know what I just realized, bro? Yeah. Tootsie Slide is Fire. <laughs> <laughs> I never even heard it before. Yes, you did. Yo, that yeah. might be Let's Drake's best song, bro. Man, that dance shut up, slaps man. too. I like when Drake raps. Right foot up, left oh, foot slide. I heard slide. that before. Right foot up, and, and left foot macarena. slide. The black Macarena. That's not the what? fucking Macarena. Curly. Did you just call it the Black Arena, bro? No, the Black Macarena. That's not. A question. It's more to electric slide than. But shout out to Drake. Congratulations. We're waiting for certified lover boy. I'm expecting a classic, all right? Pressure's on. All right. But Ooh. but but it's, it's it's like I said on Breakfast Club, he's the bar. So when you put your when you're the when you're the bar and you set your own standard, you know, hey, you put that pressure on yourself. Can Tom Brady come in next season and just make the playoffs? Nope. What are we expecting Tom to do? Win again. Honestly, I expect <laughs> nothing of Tom Brady just because he's so fucking old, he's done it already. But yeah, you're right. We we assume he's gonna win. What you expecting LeBron be... to do in his later years? Yeah. Don't call yeah, yeah, like we, right. we're yeah. looking at those guys because we, we want yeah. rings. You're like, yo, you gotta win a ring, Bron. That's the standard for you. Bron, there's yeah, only one standard for yeah, you. Why are you here? Brady, there's yeah, only one point. standard for you. Drake, mm-hmm. there's only one yeah. standard for you. Like, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's your fault for being great. <laughs> that's your fault for being great. Yeah. That's that's your yeah. fault for being great. I wonder why they don't root for they don't root down on Drake like how they do with like boxing or so. They wanna root for May or they don't want to root for Mayweather because he's the greatest. What are you talking about? You know people give Mayweather flack be- or not flack but you- they wish that he doesn't win oh that's because of his attitude yeah, his, like, his like Drake's a nice guy so yeah. he's easy to root for like okay. even though he's really a demon on the low but he's a nice guy you know what I'm saying like <laughs> yeah. Mayweather you think is- he's a demon yeah, on the low why? oh no he's petty he's petty he's, what do you mean? Petty. oh no he's petty he's petty, he's petty. I-, I mean I actually appreciate his level of petty Cause I'm that like level. Why? What he do? I'm that level of petty too. I'm just, you know, it's just like little. I remember everything. With him and Meek Mill, I remember everything. You know, what I I'm feel saying? like he squashes beefs and like moves nah, on. Man, that's what you think. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <You're right. laughs> that's what I say. <laughs> but in my mind, <laughs> got one more. <laughs> oh, buddy! And actually, that's what I enjoy more now than anything. I don't got you. Know, really? Nobody got to know. Yeah. He's Nobody got to know. Oh, I love that. Nobody got to know. I love this Charlemagne. I love petty Charlemagne. <laughs> I just love it. I love, it's always been like that, though. Oh, my God. I love cat. petty people with disposable income. There is nothing better than petty and disposable income because the levels that you can go with the petty are so high. Hey, so man. high. Hey, man. It's fun. It's fun. And the fun, the best part about it, honestly, you really don't have to do anything. All yeah. you got to do is just sit back, let people play they self. Yeah. And mm-hmm. then you just, eh. yeah. <laughs> That's all. Flick them off. No, 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 don't spend all this energy. Just, just wait. Be calm. So you tell me I shouldn't have put doodle on my um, boss's oh coat? My no, you that. shouldn't have put doodle on your boss's coat. Listen, do y'all lotion your balls? You should have waited. What? Do y'all lotion your balls? No. We talked about this with Shaq because Shaq, uh, somebody was putting Icy Hot on Shaq's thighs and they got a little too close and they put it on his balls. <laughs> and um, I don't know how we got on the discussion, but there was this discussion about guys lotioning their balls. I'm like, who lotions their balls? I mean, I tried it's, to it's, jerk it's, off with Icy Hot once. That was terrible. <laughs> wow. Good job. 
<laughs> wow. I don't know. I didn't have any Vaseline, and at that time in my life, I was whacking off with Vaseline. Wow! Oh and, my uh, God! Like you yeah. had looked like you a masochist, like Vaseline. Yo. You a masochist. So I, I started <laughs> jerking, and the shit was mad cold in the beginning, and I was like, "Oh, that's weird." Is that the it's first time you used cold. it? First time I used it, and oh then my when my God. dick got fire, it got super hot. Yeah, that was a little crazy. Have you ever that used the ice hat condoms? Say what? There's icy hot condoms. No, it's not. Yes, there are. Why do you say things like there that? There are. That you know Thank you. Yo, Taylor, yes, there are. Taylor, Google Let Taylor. Let me tell you something. All right, but. I don't know if you know who you're talking to on this podcast, <laughs> but the three of us <laughs> have not used condoms in probably over a decade. So yeah. there's there's no relatability with the condom. Y'all never know, seen them in the stores, years. though? Right here. Though. Look. Fire and ice. That's not Fire, icy hot. Ice, icy hot is I'm totally sa- different. But you know what I'm saying? It doesn't say. No, fuck- I don't. You oh said icy hot is icy hot. Taylor, you, know you said what I'm icy to say, hot. Though. No, we don't. We uh, know what you said. Either way, it does the same thing that icy hot does. No way. What? Uh, Are no. you serious? You know what icy hot do? Yeah. Yes. Icy hot burns. That's why Shaq had to go in the shower and wash it off. Well, it's not going to burn, but it goes to cold and fire. You've had somebody use that on you? Yes. And what does it feel like? It felt just like I just said cold and. Oh, on one. you it do, yeah. but what about us? I don't know what that's to y'all. So that's just for the woman's pleasure. It goes on y'all though, so I don't know. How oh, you don't know? You use it. I'm not a fucking nigga. <laughs> Yo, oh. I'm just saying he Chill didn't tell out. you that he feel it. Like this is this is a new condom. He's not gonna You're tell not you that he feel this. Nigger, is that his name? The way you said Taylor, it, it sounded like a name. You know, I'm trying I'm to figure not it out. Fucking nigger. Are, is the <laughs> icy hot on the <laughs> inside? I'm sorry. Wait, I'm sorry. Yeah, go ahead, Schultz. <laughs> What's his last name? Taylor, please. Is the icy hot on the inside or the outside? Um, of the condom. Because be once I took one of those numbing condoms, you know the numbing ones, like it makes your dick numb so you don't come fast. No. But I put the shit on <laughs> backwards. You never heard about those? Hell no. Oh yeah, there's condoms that make you last longer, so it numbs your dick. But I put the shit on backwards. Is that a condom period? Yeah, nobody got time for that shit. <laughs> like, wait, what? I, don't, I don't need to. I, that's the whole point of wearing a condom. Wearing so a condom so you last. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, well, I needed to come wear condoms on condoms. Well, your boy was out here. <laughs> That was the only time. But no, it gets worse. So what happened was, is uh, I put the condom on backwards at first, wouldn't roll down. So then I had to flip it. But now I got all the numbing shit all over my fingers. Good job. So then when I touched the girl's pussy, her <laughs> shit started to numb up. <laughs> so now we're both numb. We're like some fucking Ken and Barbie dolls are fucking <laughs> stupid. <laughs> <laughs> she don't even know you put it it's in. Pathetic. <laughs> Say what? She didn't even know you put it in. It's numb. No. We're just sitting there, <laughs> rubbing <laughs> back and forth. Like fucking Cardi B and Meg the Stallion. Just feeling absolutely numb. You might as well just scissor at that point. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you was doing. <laughs> Let's do some asking idiots, man. Uh, Let's do it. I gotta get the jersey. Perfect. Stop Asian hate. Ready, too, Taylor? Guys. Of course not. Hey, stop Asian hate. Yeah, yeah man. Like Asians are cool, man. Yo, we gotta stop okay. Asian hate, bro. That's yeah. right. I'm doing that for myself, but I really did that for my man, Chris Moreau. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. My boy, Yo, Chris, Dave. What's the deal, bro? Tell us about this Asian hate. We see people posting on Instagram, so it must be real. Yeah, unfortunately, it's real. Whoa. It's right. fucked up. And what is, what is, like, how do they qualify it? Like, it's for COVID, right? They think that uh, <laughs> Asians are the ones that bought COVID over or some stupid yeah, well, shit they, like that. They the didn't have the thing match. is, Asians got blamed. For COVID and, uh, you know, people are generally taking out frustrations and whatever they're feeling on random Asians. And, you know, the way they qualified is there's been an uptick in violence. I'm going to tell you something, man. Here's the thing about COVID. There's really nobody to blame for COVID, Joe. Yeah, for real, bro. Now, you can, you, can, yeah. you, you can blame, you know, Trump for how he responded to it. But there's, I mean, it's an act of God. It's a, it's biological warfare. It's like this shit happens sometimes. I was listening to... What the fuck was I listening to is recently? It, is it, it was, an act of God or is it biological warfare? Because those are two very different things. I don't know. Well, it's act of God. <laughs> That's it, what it's, I'm it's, talking it's about, hypocrisy. Yeah, it's act of God. You know what I mean? But I was, I was watching, I was listening to something in an audio book and they were talking about some reindeer carcasses that were in the Arctic and they were frozen. But then when the ice cap started to melt and the carcasses started to rise, like this disease came from the right. carcasses. I don't remember what, what, what disease it was. Measles. But it's just like, what do you do? You, who do you blame for that? Santa Claus? It's reindeer? It's like, who do you blame nah, for that? You can't blame... I mean, if it looks like it came from a lab and it like got leaked from the lab, then that's one thing. Yes. Yeah. But, uh, but if it just happened naturally 
you can't really blame people for like a disease popping up, but you can blame the countries and governments for how it was handled. Yes. And a lack of disclosure of information. And the Chinese government is a bunch of pieces of fucking human garbage. And well, we can't uh, say I don't that think that they stop really Asian hate. Yeah, for real. <laughs> hey, the American government is a bunch of pieces of human gar- garbage. Nobody cares it's, about America. They're all garbage. Yeah, you can say anything about But my America. point is, my point is like, we do this thing where we're like, I don't know, people like feel like you can't be critical of the Chinese government that in some way that's racist. And it's like, no, it's not racist. They're fucking pieces of shit. They're like exterminating groups of people. Chris, is there. that true? Like, I don't know. I don't know anything about it. Dude, there's nobody I mean, that hates I'm, the Chinese I'm, I'm, government more than Chris's right. Taiwanese I'm family. I'm no of the of the Chinese government. But, okay. you know, I think the, the, the issue is that a lot of Asian Americans, people in Asia who have absolutely nothing to do with or connection to the Chinese government or even fans of the Chinese government are, you know, basically I agree. getting I agree. the brunt of this. That shit is whack. Problem. Which is when you, wrong I, I'm going to tell you something right now. If I'm out in the street and I see you Knocking an old person down, I don't care what color they are. Fuck we going to beat yeah, the shit literally. out of you. I don't, I don't care if it's a black are. old woman, an Asian old woman, Jewish old woman. If I see you do what I be seeing y'all do to these old people on Instagram, we going to do you dirty. We going to have fun that day. Mm-hmm. Guaranteed. That's right. I'm going to see how many pushes I really did. That's right. <laughs> That's right. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to call the police, bro. I'll call the police. I'm going to call the police. I'm going to call just, them too. I can't. I'm going to call them too. But in the moment, we got to restrain them. Yeah. And, it, and in the process of restraining them. Something happened. Something happened. Sorry, Mr. <laughs> Officer. We held him here for you. You know what I'm saying? He, he was resisting. I don't know I don't what know why you fly got. is open. Huh? I don't, <laughs> what you say? <laughs> I'm just saying like, I don't know what diseases these motherfuckers got. Some crackhead came up to me yesterday trying to sell me a sweatshirt for $5. And he was like, getting all close and stuff. And I was like, I don't know. And it was just weird. I'm like, I can't fight you because you probably got AIDS yeah, or nah, something. I so I don't do want to do that. So crazy people, like someone who's crazy enough to just punch a fucking old person in the street, yeah. like those motherfuckers weird me out. I'd rather out. get in a bar fight with somebody. We do what we got to do. It's fine. But literal crazy? No, I get what you're that saying. That is now, you, next it, level it, terrifying. There's certain ways that you can sit there and beat them up without getting touched. Yeah, with a we bat. We figure that out. Yeah, we figure it out. But I'm telling you right now, yeah. that shit pisses me off. When I see people fucking with people that are helpless, like kids, oh, man. old Women people, children, yeah. man. boy, that shit, I like, yeah, you all bets off. You see get kicked in the head in the, on a train? Come on, man. 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 And how do you stand around and watch that type of shit happen? <laughs> nah, bro. Nope, nope, nope. That's freebie What did me. she say? She say she's an older lady getting her ass kicked. By but some what, young fuckers what? too. What was the... There was some young black dude that was actually doing it too. See, you beat the shit out of him. Yeah, I don't care. Race, the race don't got nothing to do with it. Like certain that. shit, it's certain lines and that you just don't cross. Kids, older people, nah, nah. I don't give a fuck. I will, nah, we gonna we do you, you dirty. Got you. Let's do some asking idiots, Taylor, and get out of here. Give us two okay. good ones, please. <clears throat> um, Marcus or Marquise Alley, on you guys' journey, what was the time when you knew you were on the right path before your big break? Like a convo that may have happened, a life sign. Um, when I get passionate about something, when I get really excited about something, when I, when I can't stop thinking about it, when I'm out to eat with my girl, I can't stop thinking about it. When I'm working out, I can't stop thinking about it. Like when my brain is locked in and I start to find, mm-hmm. well, I just call it the address. You know, I always say that you can't get anywhere unless you know the, the location you're trying to get to. So once I get a, an address, once I lock in, that is the moment. So that's happened multiple times, I guess, in my career. But once I find an address, bro, I'm excited. There's just a sensation that's there I love. Yeah, I feel I feel the same way. It's just a feeling, man. And 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 you, you don't realize that until you've had a lot of W's. You know what I'm saying? And you got you're older and you got something to look back on. Like I'm sure if you're mm. I'm sure like if you if Braun's in a game, he knows when the momentum is shifting Shift. his way and yeah. they bought the win you know what i'm saying it's the, it's kind of the yeah. same thing you just it is moment. you just know i can't i can't describe it it's just you just know man just be happy to be alive and then be happy else. to be alive no that that that's, right there is very important yeah. that's that's the mm. thing i've really learned it's just like all this shit all this shit pretty much moves effortlessly yeah. you know what i mean like but to andrew's point it's like when you get that shit in your stomach that passion yeah. just go towards that mm-hmm. i don't give a fuck what it is yeah. podcast do it Comedy, do it. You want to write something, do it. You know what I'm saying? You feel like I, I need to go to school to be an engineer, do it. Whatever, whatever the fuck it is. You're going to feel it in your stomach. Once you go towards it, 
It's going to be hard. It's going to be difficult, but it eventually will pay off, whatever it is. Uh, <clears throat> for Chairman Ken, he wants to know, are artists, any type of art, music, required to do more than just use their art for social justice movements to prove they really care, or should people just expect artists to use their art and anything outside of that should be considered a bonus? You can't, you can't tell an artist how to paint. That's why he's an yeah. artist. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like when you're an artist, you make whatever it is you feel like making. Like I think Throat Baby is art. You know what I mean? Just like I think Kendrick what? Lamar, we gonna be all right is art. Oh, you never heard Throat Baby? Really? By no. BRS Cast? Throw baby. I, like I wanna song, give them to you. Throw baby. I thought it was throw baby. Throat. Whatever you want to say in jail, Wax. You know what I mean? <laughs> but it's all good. It don't even matter. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to jail. I'll but, be all right. but, but throw, I got a badge. But throw baby. <laughs> I'm okay. Like, like throw baby is not no song about social justice or, you know, anything. It's just a song about, hey, I, that's good art, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't think everything has to have a message, so to speak. Some shit is just funny. You know what I mean? Every, I, I, I don't think everything has to have a message in it. What do you think, Schultz? Yeah, I'm with you on that 100%, man. Like, people are going to create the art that they want to create if it's coming from a real place. And if it resonates with uh, the rest of society, then it will become popular. But you can't really tell people what to do with their art, especially yeah. if they're not asking you to tell them. Exactly. Just do whatever you want to do. And if it links up with the curiosity of the time, then shit, you're going to have some Thanks. success. I've, can I ask you one question based on the hypocrisy? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I feel like that. I asked you this, but um, someone said, when was the last time you are belief on something changed? What? Yeah. When's the last time your belief on something changed? Shit, every day. Every day. <laughs> well, when's the last time? But like, what What was it, though? Uh, shit. I my don't girl, fucking do my girl know. my girl love me? Your girl love you. Please ask that question. Mm -hmm. yeah. like today, she loved me today, too, again? I, don't know. I mean, listen, even in the, like, uh, me, and, me and Schultz sitting there talking there, having this podcast, I'm sure when I, if I go back and listen to it, it's something I thought coming into it that I may think otherwise. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you have conversations mm. with people every day and you're taking in new information, your mind mm. gonna change on things. I'm headed to a meeting right now. I got a certain expectation of, of things, but my mind may be totally different once I get there. You know what I mean? Like, I just, I, yeah. you know, like, my mind changes every, every day. I, I just told y'all yeah. about I just said a few months ago asking is is this still the Drake era? I wasn't sure. Oh. Now yeah. <laughs> now I'm not all the way 100% because that's just But you're leaning into it. No, not really. <laughs> I'm you know I'm I'm solid in my hate. You know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like a, I'm, a, I'm like a, I'm an indigo sativa hybrid. You know what I mean? That's it's good solid. Too. Like a man. That's a good Congratulations, one. but I'm gonna leave you there. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Congratulations, but he could have cheated. Anybody thought about that? <laughs> right? Possible. You know? Have we tested him for perform performance enhancing drugs? Has anybody seen oh, Drake's birth certificate? <laughs> huh? Anybody? We don't know. Just saying. All right. As always, <laughs> if you listen to this podcast, if you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs>